Ahead of next week's general election, efforts are increasing now to support people to get out to vote from local groups. Root the Power hosted an event today called a Vote Mob. KSN's Derek Lytle is here with details. Derek. Craig Root the Power tells me they used to host this event downtown near the courthouse, but this year they moved it to a zip code that has low voter turnout to educate voters on the need to get out and even vote early. 300,000 people were registered to vote in Sedgwick County last time the mayoral seat was up for grabs in 2019 but just a little more than 61,000 ballots were cast. We're just trying to break down those barriers little by little. Root the Power intern, Tiala Mahomes, says understanding what those barriers are is key to increasing voter turnout. Transportations, resources, like just the basic knowledge of voting. Like what are we even voting on? What's happening? And so those things are barriers and blocks that prevents people from voting. She believes people her age may not understand the importance of voting in their local election. I helped a ton of people register to vote, 50 people to register to vote, and a lot of them were my peers, and I noticed that they weren't voting. The League of Women Voters, also at the event, their co-president, Nancy Brown, says the biggest issue is that people do not think elections at the local level are as important as national, like the presidential election. Sometimes five or ten votes makes the difference in who wins an election. So here, like nowhere else, this is where your vote really matters and can really make a difference. Brown says they've had mixed turnouts at tabling events they've hosted but won't know if there's been an increase in votes until after the election. For those who may be busy during the week, there's still time to vote early before next week's election. You can find those early polling locations on KSN.com. Here for you, Derek Weidel, KSN News 3.